Let's start with Wednesday's by-elections results. It was two very different stories for Korea's two biggest political parties. The ruling Senori Party surprised many by sweeping to victory in three of the four vacant seats. As you predicted before we started yesterday's newscast. Exactly. Right. The main opposition party surprised itself by failing to win a single race. For more, here's our Park ji -won. It was a surprise victory for the ruling Senori Party. The Conservative Party ended up winning three of the four parliamentary seats up for grabs in Wednesday's by elections. A Liberal independent candidate took the remaining seat. It was a night to forget for the main opposition party, which failed to secure a single victory even in its traditional stronghold districts. Seoul's Kwanak B, a traditional liberal hotbed, was won by the ruling Senuri Party's Oh Shin Hwan with over 43 percent of the vote. The liberal vote was split with the main opposition New Politics Alliance for Democracy's Chong Tae Ho earning some 34 percent, while independent Chong Dong Yang, who used to be a key man in the main opposition party, finished with more than 20 percent of the votes. Jungwon District in Seongnam, Gyeonggi-do Province, went to the ruling Senuri Party's Shin Sang-jin in an easy victory. He locked down more than 55 percent of the votes, while the main opposition's Jung hwan seok could only muster 35 percent. In Incheon's Kangwa B district, the Senuri Party candidate An Sang Su, former Incheon mayor, beat the NPAD's Shin dong 54 percent to 42 percent. The nightmare was complete when the NPAD also lost in Gwangju Seogu B district, a constituency which has been in the Liberal Party's hands for 13 straight elections. Independent Chan jong bae former Justice Minister during the No Mu Hyun administration, took more than 52 percent of the votes. The final voter turnout stood at 36 percent. That includes ballots cast during a two-day early voting period last weekend. And it's slightly higher than the 33 percent turnout in last July's by-elections. The rise in turnout has been attributed to the extra interest sparked by the recent bribery scandal. The four seats were mainly vacated by the dissolution of the pro-North Korea Unified Progressive Party late last year. The newly elected lawmakers will have one year in the job until the general elections next April. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.